Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. As you see, this is a surprise uh, going live on air and we did not even give you time to invite your friends. So it's okay because, you know, I don't really care how many people join. I just want to deliver a message and the one who like to hear it, he can hear it. And the one who don't like, he don't like. Um, as you see the topic in the screen, try not to laugh. Try not to laugh. What the Pope is doing. You know, I understand that uh, this person, he present a state <clears throat> and he do politics. I understand that very well. But sometimes, you know, you ask yourself, is that a short time? Is it for real? Is it useful? The most important things we do in order to avoid our resource is to do something useful. If I want to go right now to a Muslim mosque, and some of the Christians, they do that because they are naive. They don't know what they are doing. Uh, and by the way, before we start, I don't want anyone here to try to bash the Catholic. As you know, I don't allow that. I'm not here to speak against the Catholic. I'm speaking about what the Pope is doing. Uh, me, myself, I mentioned many times, I believe the Catholic, a true believer, a true Catholic believer, he can make the best of the Christians. The same as for Protestant or Orthodox. So don't try to divide us, your devilish people, if they are there. So if I want to do something, if I want to go to the mosque, and I want to speak to Muslims, and I will try to convince them of something, whatever that thing is. Uh, something is useful. You know, we can call it useful for mankind. We can say useful for uh, Christian and Muslims. We can say it's useful for humanity. No problem. Sound good. I'm not against that. But if you go and read and watch what the purpose of the visit is, you will die laughing. Sometime I ask myself if both parties, the Muslims, this is Bahrain, this is the king of Bahrain, and the Pope, uh, they are using, I mean, I think the, the Arab, they are using this guy, you know, for just fame, to make themselves, uh, they are uh, tolerance, you know, like, look, we bring the Pope here, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> but what what exactly is the result of this visit? I went to the Vatican website and I found here it says highlight closing of Bahrain form for dialogue November 4th 2022. Now you can watch the video, I have the link for it in the info. You can watch it later if you wish, or you can leave and watch it now, I don't care. Then if you go there, actually I did, uh, you know, I did a little bit to see what, what exactly this meeting is about. And it turned to be, it's the same as before. Silly, stupid action from the Pope and a silly law way of those who did in those countries trying to make themselves look clean you know uh, some people who have too much dirt on them too much dirt like somebody is so rich like uh, uh, this guy what they call him the pimp you know uh, Andrew Tate, Tate. So he want to clean his image. I mean, this guy, he one, th one million times, he keeps saying that he is a web camera pimp. He is a web camera pimp. How he can clean his image? After he got in his pocket at least 340, 50 million dollars. I have the money now. I want to be someone. 
So now I'm going to, you know, to be part of the religious community. Suddenly, the pimp, who used the F word every two seconds, his clothing, the fancy clothing he's wearing, all of it is made from the sweat of prostitute, using them, abusing them, and he took the money. And now he claimed the honor, and even some of you says to me, he have influence on you. I mean, if a pimp have an influence in you, you must be a pimp too. I find the same meeting is the same. The king of Bahrain, the same as all kings in the Middle East, they invite the Pope to make themselves look clean. This guy, he discriminate the Shia and he treat them like dogs. The king of Bahrain. He gives citizenship to people from Pakistan, but he don't give it to somebody is born in Bahrain just because he's a Shia. Human right is zero. You will be arrested for any reason and mostly you will disappear. And now it's time to make ourselves look clean. So we allow the Pope to come to our country to show how tolerant we are. We are nice people. We are a nice government. We are merciful. And then we meet. And what we discuss? We discuss the most silly, stupid thing ever you can imagine. The most important topic in this meeting, according to the Bahrain TV, is a climate change. <laughs> I find that this is hilarious. <laughs> climate change. <laughs> I think the Pope, he will bring more rain to the desert. And I think the King of Bahrain, he will make Bahrain uh, a very climate change uh, country. Uh, where every citizen there, he drive, you know, like the, the biggest engine car ever you can imagine. Oh boy. Then you go down here in this page. Uh, by Deborah, whatever her name, in the world run by narrow interest in the war. The Pope says religious leaders must set a good example Okay, sound good. <laughs> so we meet <made> this. <laughs> you know, one of the funny things about this Vatican thing that they go and they meet the this is the Azhar Sheikh, the Azhar, like you know, supposed to it, uh, it is the biggest institute in Egypt. But this guy, he have no, he's not a leader. This guy is literally a potato. Not even a single Muslim care for him. Not a single Muslim listen to him. I mean, who is laughing at who and who is fooling who? What does this guy have to do even with Islam? This is the guy who will speak in the name of Allah now. A little Abdul in YouTube, he have more subscribers than his account. Religious leaders look like the Pope of the Vatican. He think really that the Muslim, they have a religious leaders. They don't. Islam is extremely, very much divided. Millions of sect. And even the same sect, they don't respect this man. They consider him a government boy. Every Muslim knew that. All those are hired by government. They are not leaders. You know, you are a leader if people, they choose you. If people, they elect you. They decide you are our leader and then you will become a leader. This guy, he get a salary from the government.
He don't present anybody. And the guy next to him, who now he changed his name to be a king, yet his kingdom in the size of a village, is a fraud. It's a shame even to shake hand with him. He's a criminal. And then we make a meeting to make them look clean. This is the whole point, this king now. Oh, the Pope come here. You see, we are a pleasant country. We are a wonderful country. Hey, Pope, which country will go to Bahrain? I mean, sorry, Qatar, the biggest supporter of terrorists. Or maybe you visit Saudi Arabia. <laughs> and then in the, in the website here, they say, let us clean this page. Oh boy. So religious leaders, they have to set a good example. Ah, so now the Muslim leaders, when they pray to Allah, they will not read the Quran cursing the Christians and calling them kuffar and dirty. Set a great example. <laughs> Are they going to change their prayer? Every time a Muslim he pray, he recite Al-Fatiha. And you say, please Allah, please Allah, don't make me like the lost Christians and the cursed Jews. <laughs> hey, by the way, the Pope did the Muslim leaders, they recite for you Al-Fatiha when you were there. They did. How silly. How stupid. And then, you know, you know, we time, time, urgent appeal for peace well, that's a good one okay but you know don't you think your urgent appeal for peace would I mean what they have to do like the war between Russia and Ukraine what this guy have to do this guy is just a potato women protection Women protection, recognition of women, found mental rights, taking action, and the concept of citizenship. None of those things exist in those countries. And now because you went there, for sure this country will change, that's it, you know. Right away the women there, she is not a private part. And Muslim men, they will not marry for women and divorce them by text message. And they will not follow the Quran beating their wives because the Pope, he was there to give them advice. I assure you, he never mentioned one of those words. So what the point of this talk? Do you ask them to stop beating women? Did you ask them to stop discriminating women in every field? Do you even dare in their land? They will not arrest you. Still, you don't dare because you are doing politics. Uh, <clears throat> Humanity appear much more divided than united. Uh, so you went there to tell them that. I know. As I remember, last time I opened the yellow page of Muhammad, it was saying that Allah will divide us until the day of judgment. Look like you are talking to the wrong ones. Did you ask them to delete that verse from the Quran? What do you mean? I think the Pope he went to Bahrain and he asked the Muslim to delete those verses which mean all the Quran. The Pope he want he don't want the human, humans to be divided. You know, talk is cheap, but sometimes talk is silly. 
and talk is useless and hypocrite. This is a hypocrisy. This is disgusting. So you went there to fix what? Are they still teaching those verses in the Quran in their school? Yes. The king of Bahrain, he have a day or a week or a month every year. Well, all of them actually they do. They bring kids reciting the Quran from the first page to the last page. And they go through all the verses of hate. And you are talking to them about urgent education. You know, some Christians, and many of you, they get upset from me when I criticize their action, even the good ones. Because many of you don't understand what I am saying. Or what you focus in the person. Like yesterday, I mentioned that David Wood, he made many Muslim famous. Some of you says to me, why you, you, why you are slandering David? I'm not slandering, you are an idiot. I'm just saying what happened. Any Muslim want to get famous, he go debate David Wood. Because there is no debate. And Muslim, they will make mockery of him. And they will become famous. And now the Pope is doing the same. He make those dirty-handed people like the king of Bahrain who have blood over his hands all over who his jail is full of people unjustly and we go to make fake speeches hypocrite speeches will do nothing and will change nothing and even will make it worse because now they got from you a certificate that they are equal to shake hands with you and they are not satanic. The verse before this verse, it says, we Christian, we corrupt. <laughs> we are cursed. Did they say that to you? That we are cursed? You know, when I say stupidity is amazing, I know I heard the feeling of many people because right away they knew what they have. When time will come and the Catholic people, they will really choose someone. He can be considered as a real leader for the church your church when the time will come when you will choose someone is a qualified to present the faith not to do politics when the time will come and we will have somebody he speak the truth as it is as jesus did not doing politics Maybe this time will never come because the world became so corrupt, so awkward, and corruption become a lifestyle. And politically correct become a way of living, a way of dying. Even in dying these days, you have to be politically correct. So I find it very embarrassing to allow them to use you. Rejecting isolationist mentality. Oh, did you tell them that Muhammad, he told that? Did you? Muhammad, he said that Allah, he made you the best of mankind, Muslims. Okay. For the benefit of mankind, Muslims. Ooh, that's nice. Sound like sound like the Pope idea. Benefit for mankind. That's what we want. Uh, no, no. 
Hold your horses, Mr. Pope. What Muhammad was saying, that non-Muslims are equal to dogs. And Muslims have a duty to bring those dogs with the chain around their necks. Do the king of Bahrain reject the prophet statement? I am the king of Bahrain and I approve this message. <laughs> so who is fooling who? Women right, children right, religious freedom right. Can somebody leave Islam in Bahrain? Can somebody convert out of Islam in Bahrain? What this Pope is doing? By the way, I stopped the chat because I know many are coming just to chat. I don't want to view from chatting people. I don't want them here. I want to deliver my message. I will try to make my video shorter. Who like it, like it. Who don't like it, bye-bye. Doesn't matter really how many people review. And don't try to use my video to bash the Catholic. The Catholic are wonderful people. In fact, if not the true Catholic, all the world today will become a slave of Allah. It was the Catholic who gave you your freedom today. They paid from their blood for it. And I know like there's a lot of people who say stupid things about the Catholic. Like once I saw a video of an idiot, he claimed that Khadija, she was a Catholic nun. <laughs> <laughs> Catholic nun <laughs> and you know he's speaking in a big church those of they were seven Adventists and he is speaking in a big church and everybody his mouth is open yeah yeah those are the Catholic ah Khadija she was a Catholic nun uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> if your teacher is a donkey who are you but anyway we are here to expose all liars from any side, doesn't matter. I find what those so-called leaders do is disgusting. And the Muslims, they use them to give themselves a better image. All Muslim leaders, with no exception, they are criminals. If you don't believe me, Go check every leaders of those countries and see how many political prisoner in jail. Political, which means they said something. They just said. They did not do, said. I'm not talking about the one who is doing terrorism or somebody killed somebody. No, no, somebody, he said something. Tell me how many political prisoners you have. I will tell you. If you live in a country, or if you live in a farm. Islamic countries is a farm. There's one guy and he have too many goats. He slaughtered them, he eat them, he barbecue them, he put them in the, door, in the cold, he put them inside as he wish, as he please. They don't even consider their, their people humans. And those hypocrite leaders, not only they call themselves Christian leaders, even the one who hate Christianity like Joe Biden, they go and shake hands with the, with the prince of uh, Saudi Arabia. Well, isn't it this is the guy who said, you said yourself he have zero ethic, he have no shame, he's a criminal, just before the sake of some barrels of oil, you go shake hands with him. Hypocrite. Potatoes. Potatoes have a taste, good taste. But I'm, I'm, I, I call them, describe them as potatoes because potatoes have no shape. You know, when you grow a potato, if you put a bunch of rocks around it in the, the ground, the potato will take the shape of the ground, will go around it. 
the shape of the rocks, potatoes. Potatoes who grow in a very unhealthy environment. So we need to be careful about so-called people of influence. Don't let anyone influence you. Except the truth. Not even me. Anything, anyone, he says something to you, think about it, study it, be careful. Don't worship celebrity. Don't be a stupid fool. Don't be a potato. When you go to the hotel, the fancy ones usually, you have somebody in the front the door, he opened the door for you and he called you sir. And then you ask yourself, why I'm being called sir and why he is bending down to me? What is the difference between me and him exactly? Simply because one of us, he chose to be a potato. He changed his shape just to make little money. He lose respect of himself just to make some money. You stand behind the door for 20, 30 years, opening doors for people, saying to them, Sir, why did I call you, sir? Because you are poor? Because you decide to be the one who called him, sir? They are rich celebrity and you are nobody. But that was your choice. Because it's not you being poor will make you nobody. It's you accepting yourself to be nobody. You make yourself as you wish. And you will be as you wish. Just make your wish. And you will be that thing. If you choose to be a person who bend down to everybody, who have no voice, who have no say, who have no brain. You follow people of influence because you decide to put your brain into retirement. Because your rusty brain will be in pain if you try to use it. We are crazy about famous people because you are nobody. So you see yourself in that body. You know, you see you go to rooms, especially like, you know, I understand like a teenage person, you know, is crazy about an actor or, a, you know, a famous artist, whatever. But growing men and women, they are doing the same. They are still under the influence of the idiots. And the more idiot we have, the more idiot society we will have to. Because we are following those idiots. Who is in the TV? Who is in the screen? Who is the one in the media? Who is the one reporters want to take what he's saying? It is the idiots. The second you say something truthful is going to hurt everybody. And the same moment they will slaughter you, if not physically. They will do it by their pens, and they'll buy news, and by their articles. They will demonize you. The more truthful you are, the more disgusting you are for them. So what do we do? We choose to be politically correct. So not we will not be framed, demonized. So we will look good. Good for who? Not for God. We will look good for the evil. The evil will bless you if you can say so. Recognition of women 
I believe you. <laughs> I really believe you. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to keep you here long. You don't have to agree with me. And honestly, I don't care who agree who don't. I understand that people, they listen only to so-called celebrity. If one day I become a person who have like, let's say, uh, 10 million subscribers, then people will listen to me. Not because I'm saying something right. Not because I'm saying something truthful. But they worship celebrities. You know the mosquitoes, the butterfly, the insect, how they jump in the fire at night thinking this is light and they burn themselves alive? Human being is the same. Human being, he seek lights, but not light of God, he seek light of stars. Not stars in the sky, no, no, no. <laughs> So-called stars. Can you believe that we are in a time that people, they call somebody a porn star? I mean, if a porn guy become a star, who, who is the one really cons consider such a name? Porn star, social media star. The godly stars are not exist, not in the media. Hey, Pope, I have to say thank you for your visit to our land, because now the land will change, trees will grow, peace will go all over, women, they will have their rights, Christian, they can worship God, and if somebody, a Muslim, he convert to Christianity, he have his freedom, and now the king of Bahrain is going to release all the prisoners in his jail, including the tens of thousands of Shia. And maybe you will forgive him for killing thousands of Shia too in Bahrain. And maybe you will teach him how to give citizenship to missionaries, not missionaries, missionaries, missionaries from Pakistan. He brought them to kill Shia. Thank you for giving a shiny image for those leaders by visiting them. What a useless person you are. Useless for us. Useful for them. Thank you all for being here. And again, don't try and don't think I'm speaking against the Catholic. For me, those leaders don't present the Catholic, not even for one second. They don't. And I say to the Catholic, it's time for you. It's time for you to make a change. How you make it, you decide. Find better leaders. Change the way you elect them. Get the qualified one. And the qualified one is the one who says things as it is. Not the best in politics. The best in politics, it means he is the best in line. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again, have a great Saturday. Peace of the Lord for those who spread peace. Peace. But those who are hypocrites, they will bring war. For as soon as time come, hypocrisy will collapse, and fake hugs will turn into blood, and big smile will turn into war. Why? Because one day we ignore to expose the real problem and to speak the real problem 
that the reason of all the hate is Quran, is Muhammad. And meeting with those bunch of criminals will not change the fact that their jails are full of prisoners, political prisoners, religion prisoners, and not to mention, not to forget to mention, the human trafficking in Bahrain and Qatar and Saudi Arabia, where they bring thousands of Indonesia and Filipinos from all poor countries, Bangladesh, and they treat them as slaves. Literally. And then you go and you shake hands with them. Celebrity talk is garbage. Real talk is hurting. Thank you all for being here. Have a great weekend. And let us pray together and work together. If you are Protestant or Orthodox or Catholic, that our churches will get rid of false, politically correct leaders by electing the correct ones. We don't want to do politics. We are not politician. Even when we speak about politics, we are not politician. We expose the liars and we spread the truth and the truth will set you free. And the truth is the Messiah. He said, I am the truth. I am the life. I am the resurrection. And when you find a leader, you call him leader, not me. He is not following the steps of Jesus. He is not being Christian. Thank you. God bless you. And have a blessed weekend. This is your brother Christian Prince, who is serving you humbly today. I hope I did not hurt the feeling of many of you. Take care.